up, explorers? I'm here today at Morris Bridge Road Nature Park. And this is a pretty small park, but it's a pretty awesome park. It packs quite a punch. We're gonna be going to two separate boardwalk parks today, Lettuce Lake and this park. So I hope you all enjoy. We're getting some spotty rain showers and it's coming down pretty hard. But as you can see, this park is beautiful little park. Looks like you're in the jungle. I'm actually on a platform right here. Floating, but yeah, this is a pretty awesome little park. Let's see what we can get into. I apologize for all the noise. There's a ranger doing a leaf blower, so bear with me. This is a really pretty little walk under the canopy. In Florida, these are called hammocks, and this appears to be an old hammock because there are little to no pine trees, and that's always how you can tell how old the hammock is. This park runs along the Hillsborough River here, and the river goes all the way through Tampa, goes through downtown and everything, so it's a pretty long river um it's also considered a black water river as you can probably see how the water is literally black like you cannot see through it this is a pretty cool sight how like the vines grew over a dead tree that had fallen down very pretty I believe that this flower is called a swamp lily. If it isn't, I'll put a caption with the correct title in the um, video. And it looks like the boardwalk has gotten pretty battered here. And it looks like they closed it due to maintenance. So this is going to conclude the Morris Bridge Road boardwalk. All right, this is the Butio Trail, I believe, if I'm pronouncing that right, at the Morris Bridge Road Nature Park. And I also found out that the park is 25,000 acres. But this is just a small little section of this park. I had no idea that this park was this massive. So I learned that from the park ranger just a few minutes ago. These are some awesome Florida hammock views. It's one reason I do enjoy hiking in Florida when it's not a thousand degrees and a thousand percent humidity. <laughs> All right, this is a view of the river from the trail and there are tons of mosquitoes out here getting eaten alive. So I don't think I'm gonna stay out here much longer, but this is a awesome little view of the Hillsborough River. The current's flowing a little strong because we just got some rain. But yeah, check that out. We're gonna head on over to Lettuce Lake and I'll see you at Lettuce Lake. Welcome back explorers. We're here at Lettuce Lake Park. Let's go explore the boardwalk.
All right. So this is a relatively small park. It is mainly just a boardwalk over Lettuce Lake, and it is black water, as you can tell by how dark the water is. That's very common in Florida. It's pretty dope, seeing as this is mostly the overflow area that turns into a swamp. And you get to see a lot of animals out here usually, but since it is midday and it is a very hot today, I doubt that there will be any animals out. There is a variety of interesting plants out here. I am by no means a botanist, so I don't know the actual names of some of the plants like these, but it is some very beautiful scenery out here. Very beautiful, both sides. You walk out over a boardwalk, it's pretty cool. And this is why they call it Lettuce Lake. So Lettuce Lake is one of the more popular parks in the Tampa area. There's a lot of people that come here. That being said, you barely get to see any wildlife especially when there's kids crying and a lot of people just wandering around yelling at each other. Animals tend to stay away from that. Now this cypress tree right here, massive, definitely thousands of years old. wonder what stories they could tell. We finally reached the end of the boardwalk. In total, it's about 1.2 miles. Nice little walk. Nice stroll through the wetlands and swamps. Thank you for joining me, explorers, and as usual, I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, morning, whatever time it is where you are. Peace, love, catch you in the next one.